Sea of Thieves just released their video explaining guilds and they might have secretly unveiled a nerf to the Brigantine. Now, if you haven't already heard, Guilds is the first of three updates in Season 10, and it's kind of like this community-driven emissary ledger where you can pledge votes to this guild, and you can uh, have up to like 24 members and do all these things, get cool cosmetics. It's basically a recycle of the current emissary ledger system. Really what it does is regain interest in old aspects of the game that are probably forgotten or unused. And yes, when you upgrade your guild emissary flag to grade five, you will get extra treasure as shown here in the video. Now, if you watch the video, you might have noticed something very interesting. <laughs> is that two burners on the stove? If this is in fact two burners on the galleon, then this might be a nerf to the brigantine. Tell us about how is this a nerf to the brigantine? Unless each ship has two burners, mathematically speaking, it will take longer for the brigantine to cook food for its entire crew, unless they travel to another location to cook food, which, you know, is not a huge deal because the brigantine has optimal wind in more directions than any other ship. I believe it has high speed and a crosswind it means they can travel two directions as opposed to every other ship. They can only travel in optimal speed in in one direction. I'm gonna break it down. We're using my fingies for my fellow Alabama folks. If you've got four members on the crew and you have two eyes on a galleon, that means that you cook twice and your entire crew gets fed. If you have a sloop and you have one eye, two members, that means you cook twice and your entire crew is fed. But if you have a brigantine and it only has one cooking eye with three crew members, you have to cook three times. The only ship that has to cook more than twice is the brigantine, which increases the cooking time by another 50%. Now, wait a minute, Toast Pie. That's three times that I done book learned in arithmetic 33, 33, and 33%. Either way you look at it, it's a more cooking time for the brigantine, regardless of how you do the numbers. Toast Pot, why are you talking about cooking? I already done got all my commendations for cooking. I can't tell you how many times I've been preparing my boat for an hourglass battle, and it just did not seem a valuable portion of my time to spend cooking. I might do it the first time, but when I'm trying to grind out hourglass fights, cooking is the last thing on my mind. And that overheal might be the difference between you living and you dying. With season 10 dropping guilds and the ability for guilds to earn things in hourglass fights, the extra time spent cooking could have a massive buildup over time. Well, they deserve it. And I don't reckon nobody knows what in the satellite dish on a double wide trailer you talking about. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, I got something extra cool for you guys. One of you pirates with an extremely keen eye I noticed that Sea of Thieves uploaded a video and then took it down and re-uploaded it with one particular edit. This comment here that I found underneath one of the Sea of Thieves videos says, the new UI for trading companies showed the new cap for all trading companies, gold hoarders, reapers, etc., as being 100. In addition, they seem to have some sort of distinction system as well as allowing you to go from 100 back to one to keep looping through, kind of like a prestige system from Call of Duty. Now, I didn't see it and I don't know if it's true but if it is true that is an extremely important key information for the future in sea of thieves so what does the community think about this update what are they saying in the comment section so far basically there's two things that stand out to me mostly people say things like they should add guild battles like hourglass with multiple ships on each side because that would make guilds more than just captain c 2.0 and the comments that follow the replies that follow the majority are in agreement also i noticed several comments where people said things like they use the shrouded goes to talk about shared ship milestones but if someone fought and killed a shrouded ghost on my ship before i even see one i'm going to be livid and someone replied shrouded don't be silly now we all know that that isn't actually a real thing <laughs> the cake is a lie i completely and totally agree if someone killed the shrouded ghost on my ship i would also be let down because i like to work for my personal achievements i like the things on my ship my trinkets to be things that i have done so when i pledge a ship to a guild that has a lot of people on it that ship that i pledge to the guild will not be my personal sloop it will not be my favorite brigantine it will not be my favorite galleon it's going to be a fresh ship with a new name specifically designed for guilds if you like this video and you want to see more updates like this for see if these don't forget to like share favorite subscribe ding that notification bell and we'll see you guys next time